Now we've been talking about dough baits and dip baits. There is a difference. Dough baits have a little, generally more thicker consistency. It's a harder product. Uh, they're designed to be used like a dough, like cookie dough consistency almost. Versus a dip bait, which has a much runnier consistency. Something that you can dip on, it's going to dissolve away faster, but has generally pretty more pungent stink to it. Uh, this is a spring hook. These are more of a dough bait type hook. Now to use one of these, it's very simple. Reach into your jar of dough bait and grab you just however much you want, depends on the size of the hook. It's personal preference. Take the bait and you want to compress it around the hook and just basically make a ball. You got to remember that the spring is in there to help to help you hold that on there. So try to push it around the spring, get it around the barbs. The more area it touches, the stronger it's going to set on the hook. You got to remember as soon as it hits the water as well, it will dissolve. They're more of a bait that once you throw it out there, you don't want to disturb it very much. If you do, the bait tends to fall off the hook. It's best to just be using it in a lake or a pond somewhere with low current, somewhere you can just leave, let it set. This is a, a, I call it a pelletized dough bait. You can use it a couple different ways. You can use a circle hook or perhaps even just a snail bait holder hook or any hook in that matter. Simply hook the hook through the pellet of bait and really just once you get it hooked on where it'll hold, I wouldn't go any farther than that. For the mains, it'll crack and fall apart. So just hook it on there. The way that I prefer better over using a plain circle hook or bait holder hook is using a treble hook. Whenever I use a treble hook with this stuff, or the uh, Wildcat Blood, I really would advise or suggest somebody to use a swivel simply because whenever you put this on, gently push it down over the shank of the hook or the center until the eye comes out of the top of the pellet. After that, after you get it through there, it's really easy to take this without having to retie anything. Flip your swivel into the eye of the hook, and that is not going to go anywhere very easily, but still, once it gets wet, it tends to fall apart if you recast it. Multiple different kinds of uh, holding hooks and baits. We have uh, docks, catfish worms. All, we also have team catfishes. Uh, Oh, furry, furry thing is what they call it. All these are designed to have a large amount of surface area to uh, allow the stink bait to attach to. So, in order to use, we'll go ahead and show you with one of these like holding tubes or a dipper is what they're called. It's very simple. Push the dipper down into the bait, kind of wiggle them around. In an attempt to just fill the holding unit or the area that is provided on the hook to give surface area, and try to grab as much bait as you possibly can. After you get some on there, you can push, use your finger to push it inside to try to trap more in. Just dip it back in the dip bait. Leaving yourself completely covered bait, throw it out and let it set. There's a second way to use a shrimp. The first way was to thread the hook at the base of the head and have it come back out here towards the tail. But a more simpler way to do it, if you say you're you know, in a hurry to throw something out in the water, would be going through the side of the tail. Push the hook out the other side and leave them on there like that. 
another, I guess, thing that would assist in using shrimp would be use a kind of a stink bait or a dough bait, like so. You'd take the shrimp and pretty much just kind of submerge them into the bait, take some of the bait, cover the shrimp with it. This is kind of a messy way of doing it, so this would be for someone that's a little more serious in the fishing. Just coat them real good and throw them out there.